Here in what appears to be a cozy city in the northern stretches of Iran rests what is potentially a silent killer, or so we might have thought in the recent past. You see, in this city, background radiation levels are the highest of anywhere in the world. Due to natural uranium deposits in the region, the ground and many structures here contain high concentrations of radium-226, a decay product of uranium. Radium-226 is the same isotope painted onto watch dials in the 1900s, like exists in this compass, which if I hold it right near the sensor, makes my Geiger counter sound very angry. Radium-226 poisoned the infamous radium girls, who were trained to use their lips to point the tips of their paintbrushes and thereby ingested some of the radioactive paint, which caused them a host of medical issues. The city of Ramsar is so radioactive due to radium and radon gas that exposure here would regularly exceed the annual safety limits in place for radiation workers in the United States. Despite this, studies indicate that Ramsar residents living with this high radiation don't exhibit any worse negative health outcomes or rates of cancer, at least so far. So what exactly is going on? This may be the result of something health experts call the radioadaptive response. People chronically exposed to low levels of ionizing radiation develop a resistance to its detrimental effects, which may explain why cancer rates in Ramsar remain at normal levels no matter if examining people exposed to low or higher levels of radiated areas. But studies are ongoing. This isn't a solved science yet, and we are still learning more, but for now it is an intriguing result. High levels of radiation, like you might experience during a nuclear meltdown, are still dangerous. But in a practical sense, it might be the case that higher levels of radiation, like astronauts would encounter during space travel or on the surface of Mars, aren't as much of a worry as we originally thought. Only time will tell.